Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemag TV. In this video for Astro Pro, we're going to be taking a look at the beta release of the WooCommerce plugin. Now this is Astro Pro, so this is the commercial version, so you have to pay for these, but they're going to give you extra control over how you customize and integrate WooCommerce with your Astro Pro based WordPress site. So let's take a look at what's on offer, take a look at some of the options we have to customize the way things look, take a look at what it's going to offer us in the future. So let's jump over to WordPress and take a look. So I've jumped over into my WordPress dashboard and we're going to take a look at where you access this new add-on. So if we come over to Appearance, you can see we've got an option for Astra. Click and open that up. That'll give us the option. We've got a couple of tabs over here and you can see we can customize things. We can take a look at the add-ons, page headers and so on. Let's just jump over to the add-ons tab and you can see all of the add-ons that we have available. If we scroll through, you see the last option is WooCommerce. So just make sure you've got the latest version of this installed and you should have access to the beta version of this WooCommerce add-on. With that activated, we can now just jump over into the customizer. And we can start taking a look at some of the tools that we're given. So once the customizer loads up, we'll jump over and take a look at what this new add-on gives us. So if we jump over to the layout section, you can see we've got WooCommerce added in there now. So we've got a new tab specifically for WooCommerce. Click and open that up. We now have five separate sections we can go through and edit to customize things. So you've got the general shop, single product, cart page, and the checkout page. So let's go over to our shop and take a look, first of all, at our product listing. So you can see at the moment, I've got four products in here, and we've got a basic layout setup. I've already tweaked some of the settings, but I'm gonna show you what the different options do. So let's first of all, take a look under general. If we open that up, you can see we've got things like sale notifications, what type they show up, the header cart icon, and some other options. So for the sale, for example, if we take a look in the right-hand side, you can see my last item has sale. So what I can do is I can go through there and you can see I can use none, so it doesn't show anything on there. So that disables it completely. We can use default, which is what I had there a moment ago. We can also use custom string. Now the custom string allows us to go through and specify how we want to display the discount or the offer or whatever it is that we have on there. We've also got this little help icon that tells us exactly what we can do in here. So you can see at the moment, it's saying minus parenthesis, the value percent. And if we take a look at the actual example, it says minus 18%. So whatever you set up as the discount code, that's going to work in there and show you. So like I say, you can customize that if you want. You can also now customize the actual style of it. So we can say we want a circle, we want an outline circle, or we can go through a square or an outline square. So pretty easy, to be honest. We've also then got the option for icons in the header. So at the moment, you've got default, cart, bag, basket, and so on. And depending upon what options you've got set up in the theme, we'll display that in a different option that you specify in there. Again, we see we've got styles. We can choose outline or fill. We can even choose the color we want to use on there, the border radius. So we have quite a good array of different options to allow us to customize that information. Okay, so let's just jump back out to this general section. Next up, we've got the shop option. Now, what that does is that allows us to control the category listing or the listing that we currently have on screen in front of us, which will show us all of the different products in a particular category. So what we can do is we can choose various different options. We've got a ton of different things we can configure and tweak on here. If we take a look to start off with, we've got the product display type. In other words, we want this to have the picture above and any information below, or do we want to have the pictures, the left-hand side and the information to the right? So let's just say, for example, we change this over. You can see it doesn't really display too well at this point, but if we just drag this shop column over to a single row, or single column, I should say, you can see now that kind of makes a lot more sense. We can now control the number of products per page. We can even go through and specify what kind of product image hover style we want. So in other words, when we take our mouse over a product, what actually happens on there. You can see we've got things like display page title, breadcrumbs, display the toolbar, and so on. So we disable the toolbar. You'll see that takes off our sorting option, so we can get rid of that if we want to keep a nice, simple interface and stop people from changing the way that the products are displayed. We can get a sort of like a granular level of control, and we can keep making sure that we've got control of that completely. Let's put that back on. Next up, we've got the option to disable or enable various different aspects of each of our products. So you can see at the moment we've got title, ratings, price, and add to cart. So that most of that information has been displayed. But we've got this display option. Let's go through and add the description in there. So we can put the short description in. So you can see now it kind of makes a bit more sense. We've now got our product, our short description, and so on. 
We can also reorder these if we want. As we can say, let's put that right at the top there below title. That kind of makes a lot more sense now. We've got the title, the price, and so on. If we want to reorder that, we can do that. So we can put the title, then the price, then the description, then the add to cart at the bottom. So, you know, really quick and easy. We can disable or enable this just by simply clicking on the eye icon. So again, like I say, we've got a really good level of control of customizing and tweaking this for how we want. Next up, we've got the content alignment. You can see at the moment everything is centered. But what we can do is we can set that to be left or we can set it to be right, however we want to display that information. We've also got a box shadow, a box hover shadow, and so on. So, you know, again, it's one of those things that we've got various different options. You can see if we push that right the way up, we now get a sort of pseudo 3D effect for each one of those boxes. We can even go through there and drag that back down a little bit so it's got a slight effect, then take the hover and make that slightly higher. So when we take our mouse over, it looks like it comes off the page. One of those nice little sort of graphical tweaks that sort of shows people a little bit of interaction when they take their mouse over something so they know they can click on it. It kind of gives a nice visual representation. So that's pretty cool. Next up, you've got the buttons. So we can do things like increase or decrease the vertical padding. So we can just bump that up to make the buttons as big or as small as we want to. So pretty cool. Take that out completely and it'll take it back to the default setting. Same for the horizontal padding. We can do the same in there. The shop pagination, so when we've got multiple products, how do we want to display the pagination? So you can see at the moment when you've got four products and nothing is being displayed. But I can go through what I can choose from things like number or infinite scroll. So the infinite scroll, as you scroll through the page, that will then continue to load the products until we've reached the end of the products. Much in the same way as Facebook kind of keeps on showing you the posts as you scroll down through. So again, pretty cool. You can even go through and specify the actual style of that. So you can see we've got square, default, or circle. Again, you can tie this into the theme, tie this into the look that you're going for. So if you've got your sale badges, for example, a circular, then you can also do your pagination to be circular as well. So it gives a nice consistent look throughout. Quick view, you can see we've got a couple of options. You've got disabled, on image, on image click, and after summary. And what this kind of relates to is you can see if we take our mouse over any of these products, we get a little option that says quick view. Clicking on that will open up a pop-up window that will give you a quick view of the product. So, again, it depends on the style that you've got your shop set up to to do, sort of like dictate whether this actually makes any sense or not. Okay, so finally we've got off canvas sidebar. So you can see trigger for off canvas sidebar. We'll leave that for now. It's not something we need to worry about at this point in time. Okay, so we've covered how to control the way that the actual shop pages look. Now let's go in and take a look at what an individual product looks like. So let's click to go in and take a look. So now let's go in and take a look at what the single product options are. So you can see we've got a ton of options inside here as well. Some of the options like we had in the previous section, we can drag and drop the different meta information, which kind of relates to what you're seeing over on the right-hand side. Again, we can turn these on and off. If we want to disable, for example, the short description or enable it, we can do that. We can disable breadcrumbs. So when we have this sort of breadcrumb at the top, we can simply click to disable that. That'll remove it, clean up the interface, whatever you kind of want. When you're dealing with a gallery layout, this is basically if you have an, a product that has multiple images, you can specify whether you want the gallery to be a vertical gallery or a horizontal gallery. And we'll take a look at that in a moment. We'll jump back and look at another product. But as you can see, very easy. We can control the size of the image. All pretty simple and straightforward. You can see we've got things like enable Ajax add to cart, enable image zoom effect. We can click on that to disable it. That now gets rid of the what I consider to be a really annoying way of actually viewing your products. I hate the fact that when you go over it, it zooms in, which is default in WooCommerce. So it's really nice to see that the Astro Pro theme is kind of giving you the option to disable that should you want to, if you don't like it like I don't. Okay, so we can control that. So we can also go in, as I say, we can put in the short description if we want to. That'll put the description on the right-hand side. So we can then adjust the layout accordingly to make sure everything looks nice and neat and tidy. Again, we can put back in our breadcrumbs should we want to or disable them. However we want to work with it, it's a really nice, simple drag and drop, adjust sliders, really does get you sort of to where you want to be with no real understanding of what's going on underneath, which is great for people that don't really care about having to get in and start messing up with coding things. So really cool. Product navigation. Again, you can see with the option to disable it put circle, circle outline, square, square outlines, and so on. Hopefully this is one of those things that will give you more options for later on down the line. So like I say, where you choose square, for example, 
you know, it'd be nice if you can go through and you have a range of different options. You go in and tweak colors and adjust things on a product by product basis or control it based upon which the options inside Astro Pro. You know, some more control on that would be pretty cool so you can customize it and make sure it all looks pretty good sitting inside the design that you've got. Okay, so again, like I say, we've got some really nice simple options in there. Your related and upsell products, if that's enabled, so we can say display related product, anything that's related to it, you can see is now listed underneath. We can specify the number of columns that are displayed. So you can see we can go in and specify how we want to display that. So pretty cool. Be nice if we had a little more control over how that's done. And hopefully that's something they'll bring into this a little later on down the line. We do get a lot more control of what we can do. This is a great starting point, but anything that gives us more control over WooCommerce is something that I think is sorely needed, especially if you've got a premium theme with premium add-ons like this, where you really want to get down and have, you know, you may be purchasing something like Astro Pro to be able to work with clients on an ongoing basis. You might be developing hundreds of websites well obviously the more control you have over changing the way that various aspects look to make sure that each one has a certain level of personalization is a, is a good thing okay so that's pretty much the basics of dealing with how you want to display your actual individual product so let's just jump back out of this let's just come back out into the shop section and um, before we finish with this let's just find a product that's actually got some additional images in this i think this one does so you can see we've got this laid out on the left-hand side. So we've got the additional images. We can click. They'll display where we want them to, which is pretty cool. We can come back in here, and we can simply come in and choose vertical instead of horizontal. And you can see we now get a different option for the way that lays out. Again, we have control over the size of everything. And as you can see, the thumbnails adjust accordingly, which, again, is one of those things. There's a pretty cool little sort of way of working with this. So we are getting quite a lot of level of control over making sure that our WooCommerce pages are slightly individual. So let's just jump back out of that. Let's come back out of our shopping section. And you can see we now have the option for the cart page. Not a lot of options in it at the moment. We just got enable upsells. So let's just add a product to our basket a second. So click to add that in there. And let's just say view our basket. So you can see this is now our shopping basket. It's pretty vanilla. There's nothing much going on there. The option for upsells is pretty good. That's quite nice. And depending upon what you're kind of working with will depend upon what upsells you actually have in there. We'll jump back out of that, and we've got the checkout page. And let's just say proceed to checkout, so we can take a look at that. So a pretty clean-looking layout for our checkout page. You can see we have a range of basic options. We've got two-step checkout, so we can click on that. That'll enable two steps to our checkout, which if you want to give people a simpler, more streamlined way of checking out as part of their e-commerce sort of experience, then you can do that quite easily. And it gives a nice visual representation at the top of what's going on, the information they need to do to proceed to payment and so on. So let's just disable that a second. You can see we've got the option to enable or disable the order note, which again, if this is something that, let's just say, for example, you're selling digital products where you don't need to have people to give you sort of order notes, well, you can enable or disable that should you wish. Display or apply coupon field. So again, you can see if you want to sort of streamline things, you want to keep it nice and simple and clean, then you have the option to do things like that. You can enable and disable quite a lot of things. Placeholders. You can see that kind of simplifies the form even more so. And if you're doing something like your two-step checkout, you are kind of really streamlining the whole process to make it quite a nice, simple way of, of going through the whole checkout stages, which, like I say, is one of those things that I think is really nice the way they've done this. You check uh, persistent checkout form data. As you can see, this will retain the checkout form fields even if a visitor accidentally reloads the checkout page. One of those things that I would highly recommend using that unless, of course, someone's using a shared computer, which isn't a good thing. But what this does do is it means that if, for any reason, something happens on the checkout process or they come back to it later on, their data is still going to be in there. Because if there's one thing that will put someone off, if something happens, the doorbell rings or the phone goes or something happens and they kind of lose their information, it's really frustrating. And I know for myself, I'd probably not bother purchasing something because I can't be bothered to go through the process of filling all that data in again. And the final two options we have the checkout form width. So you can see we've got custom or default. If we choose custom, we can adjust the width of that by using this simple slider. If we want to reset that, we can just click on there. So, you know, however you want to lay things out, you want to keep it simple and clean, then you can do that. And you can adjust things, various different things inside there for the size and the display. 
Well, that's pretty much it. That's what you're getting as part of this new add-on as part of Astro Pro for WordPress. I think it's a great starting point. I think some really cool features in there, some really cool customization options. There's still some things I'd like to see. Like I say, the ability to customize and colors and things of various different parts of the actual WooCommerce site. I think that would be pretty cool. Some more options in there for things like the way that you want to display things like discounts and stuff like that. So you you can create a little bit more in the way of the customization options. But to start off with is the first version of this. I think it's a fantastic add-on to Astro Pro. Well, I hope you found this video interesting. I hope it's given you an insight into what you can do if you have an Astro Pro account. If you do have an Astro Pro account, download it, check it out, see what you think of it. If you don't and you consider purchasing this or anything else that we've covered on this channel, please consider using the affiliate links in the description below. It gives a small percentage back to the channel for every purchase that you make on there, and it costs you no more money. Well, if you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified of every single video we upload. If you have comments, questions, or feedback on this video, or anything else we cover on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. Until next time, take care.